Okay, so my name is Miko, and I'm a software developer, and and I come from Sealy. Uh, Sealy just moved a few blocks from there to there, and uh, I'm going to talk to you. This topic is from idea to production. I know that uh, a lot of you might think that now I'm going to tell you how uh, I got, we got a great idea and then we went into production. No. Uh, no, I'm not talking about that. I wanted to uh, give a little bit more humane topic to uh, to IT field. I think that um, I think that IT field needs a little bit more humane uh, and emotional things. So, uh, at first, I'm going to show you this. That this is yes, this is very new new hype technology, and and uh, and I'm also a junior developer. So if I would just talk, tell you about this new technology and you would be like, no, 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 come on, junior man. No, you cannot. Please don't tell us any more about that topic. <laughs> so so that, <laughs> yes, that, that's why I'm talking to you about this. That there are uh, over 60,000 socially margin, marginalized youth in Finland. So who, who, how many of you know which, what, what is a socially marginal, marginalized youth? One. Two, five, ten. Yes, okay. There are the, uh, people who are completely out of the society. Yes, you can see them here. And if you watch it closely, you can find me here. Yes, yes. So uh, <coughs> the, the socially marginalized youth are that uh, they they are completely uh, they cannot take responsibility for their own lives. So that's why they blame the government and the society for all their problems. So I, I used to be one of them, so I know it. So, so the, <coughs> uh, a lot of these people in the picture, you can see, immediately after the ninth grade, everybody dropped out from the school, dropped out from everything, and, and, <coughs> and you can see that we are kind of imitating people. Yes, drinking beer and original gin, and yes. Uh, nobody of them went to work or school and lived by welfare. And I, I couldn't stand this life, and life anymore. It was very hard. It is very hard. And <coughs> so, uh, one time I went into uh, Maunula. Maunula is a place in Helsinki. I went in there and I found this, uh, some kind of man friend. He is like mentor to me. Yes, this guy's name is Janne. And Janne gave me a lot of teachings, and one of his one of the greatest teachings he gave me was that the decision without an execution is just an, an idea. It has no value. How, how many of you have heard about this? Yes, few. Yes, yes, and it's completely true. Uh, <coughs> Janne also taught me these simple simple lessons. He, he taught me that if you do the same things again. You over again, you will get the same results all the time again. So if 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 you go to school one day, you go second day to school and third day school, you are eventually going to complete the school. You know, yes. If you do the same things, you are going to get the same results. So uh, <coughs> this also this uh, lesson can be uh, can be used uh, very wrong. So I used it very wrong. I did very, very, very stupid things. So, and then he taught me that if you hang out with young delinquents like I did, you will become a one young delinquent. So that happened to me also. So, uh, also that the, the teaching tells you that if you hang out with the software developers, one day you will become a software developer. So I, I started to use this this topic. So. And also he told me that, that if you make easy things, your life will become a very hard, hard. And if you make hard things, your life is going to be very easy. I was thinking what that mean, means, but living on a welfare, it is doing easy things, but the life is very hard living on welfare. So, <coughs> yes. Uh, Janne taught me a lot of these uh, very nice, uh, nice teachings. He still is. He taught me this over six years ago. So I got very, he, he, uh, he got me to go to high school. This is Eira High School. You can see on the ground, it is a few blocks away from here. 
So I went in there and started to use this uh, uh, new, uh, my newly uh, learned lessons. So I went to school one day, two day, three days, and I, one day I completed the school. One day I was there, you know Iso Robertin Katu, it is a few blocks away from here. One, I was standing beside uh, a little shop, it was there, you, uh, making uh, framing pictures, like putting the frames on pictures. And I was thinking that that, that little shop, it didn't have a website. And I was, I was thinking, how do they get customers? There's no way that they're going to, maybe they're doing money laundry or something, because they cannot get, the, they cannot get customers. So, an idea came from a sky, it was like lightning. It came to my head, I'm going to sell websites to these little companies. So, uh, yes, I was 15, 20 years late on that. But, <coughs> But I got uh, this idea, so I called my friend, Jani. Jani has been doing computer programming for over 20 years. I called him, and I was like, I'm going to sell these websites, so can you do them? He was like, Miko, come on, I'm, I'm professional at this. You have to pay me 100 euros an hour if you want me to do every often, maybe once a week. People come to ask, ask me with these new Facebook ideas, that can you make me please this one? And, and and he got really tired of it. He said, told me that if you want to hire me, then you can hire me, where's the money? So, after the talk, he told me that, Miko, you can teach yourself how to do the programming. So I got the idea. He introduced me to, with uh, Helsinki University, this mock course. Some of you may, might have heard about it. So I started to do the course. And also at, at the first I learned how to do the hello world and, and how to do the if statements and file loops and that, that kind of things. So then I started to think about more. I got the idea that I can do something, maybe something good with these new skills. It helped me in the school works and, and I could easy, more easily to do math things with these logarithms and it was easier to uh, code it with Java. So I did those. <coughs> yes, and uh, one day I got an idea that I, I was living in Vaasankatu in Kallio. It is also in Helsinki. So I was living in there, and the, uh, then we have in Helsinki, we have this radio bus which tells you where, what bus you have to take. If you type the address, you can, uh, and the, then you can type the second address. And I was so tired of that, because I wanted to always use the nine, same ninth tram. So, I made this, this is my first program that I created. It shows all the time the second nine tram, the, uh, the uh, four, nine, next nine tram that coming to Vasankatu. And this was the first time I, I did something that helped me. It was all, all the time open on my uh, computer and, and I used it very, very often. It was very useful. So I got the idea that maybe one day I could, I could go and work as a programmer. It would be very nice, I really would like it, because I had been a young delinquent, so, so I really wanted that. It would be really nice to work in an office, not in the, in the constructions. I have been there, it's, it's awful. And <clears throat> so I started to code, minimum three hours a day. It was every day, so I started to repeat what Janne told me one day, that if you do the same thing, so, over, so you are going to learn the coding. So I started to do this every day, three hours. So I got a very nice result. I did some Android programs and, and websites. I sold also this website, but yes. So then came up a really nice happening. Uh, there's a little flea market and I heard that they want a new cashier system because the cashier systems can be very expensive, maybe 300 euros a month. So I offered him that I can make him a cashier system for 1,000 euros. Yes, yes, please don't laugh. Uh, uh, so I started coding. It took me six months. Yes, a lot of work. But the thing, thing was never, it was never the money. The, the, I wanted to know how to do the programming. So I picked a uh, very old technology. It's over 20 years old probably. You know Java Swing. Have you tried it? 
Yes, it's very old. So I started to do the uh, cashier system. Uh, I'm very sad to tell you this, that this never got into production. I had a very nice database in there. But one day I was doing, I didn't know, to, know to, how to do this unit testing or anything like that. So uh, one day I was doing manual testing on my home and something went wrong. The data that it showed, it didn't show something. So I got, I was 99% sure that my application, that it's, it's going to work. But there was this 1% chance that it, if it fails, that the flea market, their, their revenue is 200,000 euros a, a year. So it's big money. So I, I, I couldn't take the risk. So, so, by the way, the design is made by me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I didn't want to take the risk. So this never went into production. I had to tell him that, no, I can't, sorry, I cannot trust my product. So not the 1,000 euros, I don't need it. But the thing what happened here was that uh, I, got, uh, I got very confident that I can start to do programming as, some, uh, as my uh, profession. So I started to call these companies and stand, send these uh, applications. Uh, nobody answered, or if they answered, they told me that, that you have to do a little bit more. So one day I was jogging in uh, Vantaa Jogi. It's very, uh, it goes through Helsinki. So I was there jogging, and I was listening to listening podcast. The post podcast guy there told me that if you want to want something, they are not going to come at your door, like knocking, and do you want a job? You have to ask for it. I tried with these applications, they didn't work. But I heard about a guy who, who was a friend of my friend. And I contacted him. That I told him that you have done something 20 years ago that I want to do it now. After you, you have done it. So do you please have a work for me? And he told me, yes, Miko, I have a work for you. And this is how I, I became a software developer. And now I can tell you a little bit more about this Hasura because I, got, I can see that I got your attention here. <laughs> so this is a new hip, hype uh, junior technology. No, no. Uh, actually, uh, <coughs> the uh, Hasura, I have to read it here from here. Uh, you can get a real-time GraphQL ape height instantly. Hasura is an open source engine that connects, connects to your database at microservice and auto-generates a production-ready GraphQL backend. So, what does it mean? That you have this Postgres database, and then it makes instantly. Not, I don't have to do any coding. It makes instantly a GraphQL API of it. So... Uh, what is GraphQL? How many of you know what this is? Yes, maybe half. Okay. Uh, GraphQL is a query langu language for APIs. Uh, <coughs> and I don't know how to spell it. Yes. <coughs> but yes. So, uh, this is the user interface. Interface You can see. Uh, this is very old Hasura. Now it's uh, 1.0 and it's uh, production ready. But, uh, <coughs> so you can query this, you can make uh, almost like an SQL to your uh, database through this API and, and, and it's really remarkable, it's really nice, uh, and then I have to tell you about this, uh, uh, I have passed six months worked with this GraphQL, and we are, and we are using this Asura in production. Uh, it gets, uh, gives us a chance to, uh, uh, we can uh, authenticate on it, and then we get instantly the uh, API from it. So the nice thing is that we have three people in our team. One is doing infrastructure, then we have two full stack developers. So we can put the whole two full stack developers to do front end. So we don't need to do any backend coding here. This is some kind of this new kind of trend that no code. How many of you have you heard about no code? Yes, one, two, three. Like, yes, I'm pro working as a programmer, programmer and we are not doing code. 
yeah, it's it's funny, but it also it, it has saved us very very much many months time that we don't have to touch on the backend code. So the the nice thing is that if if we want something new from the database, we, we our, our product owner gives us all the time these new feathers feathers that he wants. So uh, we want want something new, and it's already there. We just uh, do the migration to uh, our SQL database, and then it's already it is there. So that's all. Thank you. My name is Miko. Yes.